deep in the rainforests of Asia, a hidden sanctuary is fighting to save one of the planet's most endangered species. Despite growing to a length of two and a half meters and weighing in at over half a ton, the Sumatran rhino is the smallest of the world's five rhinoceros species. They were once found throughout the jungles of Southeast Asia. But poaching and deforestation have now restricted them to isolated patches of forest, scattered across the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. Fewer than 80 remain in the wild. And the fragmentation of their habitat means rhinos of a suitable breeding age have little chance of encountering one another. And thus, little chance of reversing the decline in their numbers that's been ongoing for many decades. With the prospect of extinction already looming, in 1996, the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary was founded in the rainforests of Indonesia to help try and save the species. Because uh, Sumatran Rhino number are getting decreased over the years, now we are trying to breed Sumatran Rhino just to increase the number. And then in the future, if uh, we have a good habitat, we will be released back into the wild. Sumatran rhinos are solitary animals with a wide and varied diet. So keeping and breeding them in captivity is extremely difficult. When the sanctuary's breeding program got underway, only three captive births had been recorded in the previous 100 years. In order to mimic conditions in the wild as closely as possible and keep them safe from poachers, the sanctuary decided to provide each rhino with a large fenced-off area of natural rainforest habitat in which to wander. One of the first rhinos selected to join the breeding program was a female called Ratu. She was rescued in the uh, year 2005. She came out from the forest to the village nearby the forest. We rescue her because at that time we have a very, very severe uh, drought. After her arrival, Ratu was paired with a male called Andalus. Hopes for the future of the species now rested on this pair. Twice she fell pregnant. And twice the pregnancies failed. Then finally, in 2012, a male rhino named Andatu, the first captive birth ever in Indonesia. And in 2016, a sister, Delilah, followed. The birth of Ratu's calves is a huge step forward in efforts to save the species from extinction. There is still much more work to be done. But with a successful captive breeding program established and the consolidation of the fragmented wild population into protected areas, there is now a chance that future generations of Sumatran rhinos will continue to roam the forests of Southeast Asia. <laughs>